How does chemotherapy work to treat cancer? Chemotherapy is a treatment for cancer that uses drugs to kill or slow the growth of cancer cells. It is a systemic therapy, which means it can reach cancer cells throughout the body. Chemotherapy drugs work by targeting rapidly dividing cells, which includes cancer cells. However, they can also affect healthy cells that divide rapidly, such as those found in the bone marrow, digestive system, and hair follicles, leading to side effects. Chemotherapy drugs can be administered in various ways, including intravenously, directly into a vein, orally, as pills or capsules, topically, applied to the skin, or through injections into muscles or beneath the skin. The choice of drugs and administration method depends on the specific type and stage of cancer being treated. Once in the body, chemotherapy drugs circulate through the bloodstream and reach cancer cells throughout the body. The drugs interfere with the cancer cell's ability to divide and multiply. Different types of chemotherapy drugs work in different ways to achieve this. Cell cycle-specific drugs, these drugs specifically target cells in a particular phase of the cell cycle. For example, some drugs target cells that are actively dividing during the DNA synthesis phase, S phase, while others target cells during the process of cell division, M phase. By disrupting the cell cycle, these drugs prevent cancer cells from dividing and multiplying. Cell cycle nonspecific drugs, these drugs can target cells in any phase of the cell cycle. They work by damaging the DNA of cancer cells, preventing them from reproducing. Examples of cell cycle nonspecific drugs include alkylating agents and platinum compounds. Targeted therapy, certain chemotherapy drugs specifically target cancer cells by attacking specific molecules or proteins that are unique to cancer cells. These drugs are designed to interfere with specific pathways or signals that cancer cells need to survive and grow. Chemotherapy is often given in cycles, with a period of treatment followed by a period of rest. This allows healthy cells to recover from the effects of the drugs. The total duration and frequency of chemotherapy treatment depend on factors such as the type and stage of cancer, the drugs used, and the individual's response to treatment. It's important to note that chemotherapy can have side effects, as it can also affect healthy cells. The side effects vary depending on the drugs used, but common ones include hair loss, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, decreased blood cell counts, and increased susceptibility to infections. These side effects are usually temporary and can be managed with supportive care. Chemotherapy may be used as the primary treatment for cancer, or it may be combined with other treatments such as surgery, radiation therapy, or targeted therapy to achieve the best possible outcome for the patient. The choice of treatment approach is determined by the specific characteristics of the cancer and the patient's overall health. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.